I'm, I need this thing back. Why do you need that back? My lazy Susan. I'm working on something. So how, how come I spent the whole night puking my guts up and you not at all? This doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Well, I just have different, you know, Tell different you, way of doing things. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I'm just telling him I need my lazy Susan back. Oh, and he's displaying... Is that, is that the fucking the people giving you money this week? Well, yeah, they, they are the is? sponsor. Okay, Jacasa, their the contract's up. I'm still talking to them. G great company. But right now, it's Liquorman's and BackstreetMerge.com. They're also a sponsor in this. Okay? Okay, so hang on. You're out making more fucking deals. I'm trying. Someone's got to fucking make the deals. And are we involved in this one? You might be. I don't know yet. I've, I've still got to talk to them about that. Well, you better get fucking talking to them, because... Just start, man. I didn't think I... I totally forgot this contract with Jacasa was up. But they are still talking well, to me. Well, you said if you made any more deals, we were going to be part but, of Yeah, but first, got to talk to them. That's the way it goes in business. I talk to them, then I come back to you guys... The board of directors, you three, us three Don't and me. Don't try to sweet talk me and tell me I'm on some fucking fake board of directors. Well, you are. You already signed off on it. All right, we gotta, are we going to get this going now or what? Yes. So, okay, I, I missed a part of it there. I was just working on some things that are going to be important later. So, Lickermans, Swearnet.com, and what was the other one? The, uh, the, some store? Yeah, BackstreetMerch.com. You just got to click on the fucking banner. You can buy merch. Like they're selling shit of they're us. They're selling shit Is of there us. There's shit on there with me on it? Yes, that's it's part of the store. Well, doesn't that mean so, that I should get money from that? Well, yeah, they're eventually, if people are buying your shit, I'm not there's sure. There's stuff there with me on it? Yeah, I think there's a couple things there, yeah. Like what? Well, probably a shirt or something. I don't fucking know. So you put me on a T-shirt and didn't I, fucking include me in it. No, I didn't put you on the T-shirt. This company put you on the T-shirt. But you must have told them they could. Well, yeah, you signed off on it. I threw the... I showed you... You signed it, man. Like, fuck. Well, it you sounds like you owe us some it. fucking money. No, they owe you money. I don't know you fucking... What money. else do they sell at the store? Oh, this, this is fucked. That little thing right there, that's... What is this? Raking. Look at this, Ricky. It's a picture of a raccoon yeah. on there. So that's what you call them, rakins. That's what they are, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they're rakins. Cat things, but with a beaky nose. Yeah, that's Ricky's, what Ricky said. And you put it on a mug and you're selling it. Um, yeah, well, the company's selling it. Well, that's, okay, I mean, if they're well, going to yeah. sell our shit, we should be able to pick some of our shit, like... Well, there's more shit. Yeah, well, maybe me and Recky will go get our own sponsors. See, look, people like this shit. You know, little aprons. With, uh... See, yeah, but that doesn't involve me. That's oh, fine. I don't care fine. about that okay. shit. But Did you ask Randy? He could do that? The fuck would I ask him? You know, okay. What are you going to say about that? Huh? What is it? Julian Sports, sports Bar and Gym. It's kind of cheesy. Well, no, that's, that's cool, shit. man. This is very cool. This is cool shit. So Aren't buy you? the shit, please. Well, maybe me and Ricky will go get our own sponsors. You ever think of that? Or we could come up with our own shit to make, like a little miniature shit mobile or something. They See, should that, sell that. That's a good oh, idea. That'd be decent. You think they'd do that if they made a little, you know, die cast thing of Ricky's car? That'd be amazing. That'd right, be cool. I'll a little door them. that comes off. I'll talk to them. I'll, I'll set up a meeting with them. Get some pots and pans, little pots tiny pans. pots and pans you set on the hood, and a little tiny clearance stick, and you get to. Yeah, man. Maybe Ricky can like swing. Like, there's a little action figure. The, the, the stick. We could. They could sell clearance off. sticks. Another one's smoking the joint. In the other hand. Well, I guess it's just clearance a, sticks. It's they just should a sell stick, I guess. All right, I'll I'll work on that. But they could do lots of stuff. We could take. I mean, they could take different molds of parts of us and sell things made from those. Mold of us. Like what? Just different. You like know, buy just buy Ricky's finger. Could be a finger, whatever people wanted, I guess. Well, they we should take a mold of your hand doing that. Yeah, that'd be cool. And you can buy the anatomically correct Ricky hand. Yeah, that's a good idea. They could take some molds of your muscles and you could sell them muscle suits. <laughs> Fuck off, Ricky. <laughs> now you're just being a dick. Oh my God, I almost choked, Ricky. 
That'd be That's funny. a great idea. That's not a great idea. <laughs> Julian off. muscle suits. You guys are <laughs> fucked. <laughs> but then, you know, we could use, get the glasses made, maybe. I think I've we should have a phone in contest. If anybody wants to see <laughs> the Julian muscle suit actually get made, <laughs> let's start a petition. You don't, no, you're not going to start. Boys, fuck off. Start a petition on change.org. For people that don't have time to go to the gym, just look just <laughs> like you. That's fine. I think you just wrote the tagline for the product, too, Ricky. <laughs> for fine. people who don't have the time to look like Julian, but want to. You'll look like a dick, okay? Just think about it. You'll totally look like a dick in this suit. It's going to be cheap as fuck. It'll fall apart. Well, you might do a limited edition, like, you know, $1,500. Totally accurate, <laughs> made out of... Like perfect just, latex. Just like the Darth Vader suits. Yeah. There's like five thousand dollar suits you could buy back then. Remember that? I do remember that. Yeah. Wow. Ricky, if you were gonna get your own sponsor, who would you get? That's a good question, Bubs. <clears throat> Maybe like a tire company. That'd be cool. So you could just do brake burns all fucking day and blow the tires right off the car and just change them. Free fucking tires. That might be fun. Huh. So get a tire company. Oh, well, it would be good. Because you can't do enough brake burns these days. They're too fucking expensive. It's just not the same anymore. The good old days, you could fucking do a brake burn a week, minimum. So you're going to promote the, the tire company by saying... You know saying, what? That's actually a pretty good idea. I bet your tire company would give us free tires if we had... Just to do a brake burn and melt them off. Yeah. You could have a thing on the side of your car. Today's brake burn bought, brought to you by... Eddie's tires. Eddie's tires. Eddie's tires and brakes. That'd be all right. Or what about wood? What about wood? wood? wood get is sponsored by wood. How are you going to get the, the money from wood? Do you mean a company called wood, or are you talking about wood? The, the wood would just go talk to the wood people. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but wood. Because you could burn wood, you can build all kinds of shit out of wood. So it's the company wood. Get a wood company. Get a wood company. company to sponsor. The fucking wood people. It could be the people that get the fucking wood in the first place, or the other wood people that, you know, like take lumber, that wood like and make it into like a yes. lumber company. Right. Timber Mart. There you go. Oh fuck! See, I just gave them a free one right there. All right, we'll try I'll free work fucking on that. wood. It's kind of fucked, but it might work. Maybe I'll go talk to a cat food company. Free bacon. We should get a bacon company. Free bacon would be nice, Ricky. Hmm. We could just hold it up. Hey, there's the bacon we eat. Talk to Kevin Bacon. <laughs> get him on board. How come no bacon companies have hired Kevin Bacon yet? He's probably not. They, I bet you they approached him, man. He's just <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big fucking, I'm a TV star. I'm a movie star. I bet you if Oscar Meyer went to him, said, hey, Kevin Bacon, we want you to be the spokesperson for the new bacon line we have coming out. Kevin, ba Kevin Bacon's bacon. Did you... Boys, just imagine how much bullshit he went through, you know, growing up with the, the last name Bacon. We should call him, see if he wants to start a bacon company. He can fucking sponsor us. He, Kevin Bacon's Bacon. There's no way he's ever going to start a bacon company with us, man. He like, might. He, why would he? What, hey, how, Kevin Bacon, if you happen to be watching this, would love to start a bacon company with you. Bacon's see, Bacon. That's how you make shit happen, Julian. Bacon's you know any, Bacon. Do you, okay, do you know any pig farmers? That's the, the, the most important connection to this whole thing. We need to get the bacon. You don't get it from a pig farmer. You call one of the big bacon, you know. Well, they're not going to do like, like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to start name dropping. Because you never know. All right, well, that would be good instead of this other horse shit. I mean, I guess these are pretty good, but. <clears throat> you want me to make you guys some food? Who wrote make all this stuff? What stuff? New sponsors? Oh, I didn't write this. What the fuck are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing, Ricky. Just... What's That's happening over weird, there, man. Nothing, Ricky. Just... Are you guys writing songs about me? Or anything? Or messages? Do you want me to write a song about you, Ricky? How fast could you do it? Because we don't have a lot of time. Wish I had a guitar. What would you want the song to be about? Uh, like what style? Just how, you know, I'm starting to become a good cook. And 
I've been hired. Ricky's been practicing cooking the food. I've been higher, higher lately than never before. And he's smoking much more than he used to. See that? That was, yeah, that wasn't bad. It was kind of late. If I had my guitar here, I could start writing songs for you. How you feeling now? You had a rough weekend after the, uh... The meal? The Choco Banani Zamekin. Is what I like to call it. The what? The Choco Banani Zamekin. Is that the fucking thing we ate? Is <laughs> yeah. that what you called it? That's what you... Oh my it was fuck fucking pretty good. It didn't cook all the way through as good as it should have. And Julian doesn't like raw ground meat. It wasn't raw, though. I don't was, like raw anything, It was man. about like, medium, I would call it. Ricky's. In the middle. Ricky, when ground beef still has ice crystals on it? <laughs> no. Those that is one. not considered medium. That's freezer considered burn. frozen. The taste of freezer burn, man, from raw fucking ground beef. I thought it was pretty fucking good. Oh, At least. man. I threw up all fucking night, right into the next day, and I'm still not fucking... I thought it was like a frozen candy, like a popsicle or something you made. So I was chewing on the frozen meat. Well, at least I'm like a fucking food scientist, I guess. I'm doing experiments. Tell me what it's called again. The Choco Banani Zamekin. And basically, I got the idea from the turtle ducking or whatever the fuck they call it, where they stuff the duck into a... It's not a turtle <laughs> ducking. Right? the turtle ducking. <laughs> I thought they stuffed the turtle with the chicken in a fucking duck, isn't it? <laughs> stuffed a turtle? Ricky. <laughs> what the fuck what? is it? What? Ricky! <laughs> yes? All right. <laughs> you thought it turned out. <laughs> I, I have no idea what, you, what you're even, like, fucking <laughs> saying here at, at all. Like, what is he, he stuffing? You know what a turdakin is, right? That's it's a, a turkey, turkey yeah. duck. Okay. And a chicken. And a chicken put together. He thought it was a turtle. <laughs> oh, my fuck, Ricky. He thought it was a fucking turtle. That's what I thought. All right, I Jesus. fucked up one animal. Ricky, it's a turkey. You can't <laughs> stuff things into turtles and eat them. Yeah. That's well, I'll see up. somebody should try that now. It might be fucking no, better man. than the no, no, no. turkey ducking. No, see, nobody out there listening to this, please do not go and try to catch a turtle and stuff something into it. <laughs> That'd Leave the fuck. turtles alone. I did think it would have to be a, a good-sized turtle. So that thing we ate on the weekend. No, that was not that. That no, was I not know, a turtle but... ducking. Basically with that, I made these little mini cheeseburgers. I put a slice of banana on each of those. Then I covered those in chocolate sauce. And then I stuffed those in between two fucking salmon steaks that were infused with maple syrup. And then I took that whole fucking lop of mess and shoved it into a fucking chicken and deep fried it. I guess I should have cooked it. It was fucking for disgusting, five man. The Choco Banana Zamekin. And I actually drew a That's picture. That's what we ate? Yes. And it was, I thought, pretty good. See? You stir. There was you salmon put some in banana that fucking on thing. the cheeseburger, cover that with chocolate sauce. They go in between two salmon steaks and fruits with maple syrup. Put it into a big chicken. Deep fry the fucking thing. There it is. Choco Everybody. Banana Zamekin. Anybody wants to make it. I cooked Don't. mine for about 37 minutes. I would probably recommend 47, maybe. Or 90. Yeah. And the chocolate banana thing was kind of weird. I don't know if I'd do that next time. A cheeseburger dipped in fucking chocolate is disgusting, Ricky. But when you eat it all together, I thought, you know. What's it called a... again? Choco banana. Choco bananas, yeah, again. Well, I'll never eat at your place again. Never just, again, Just Rick. so you know. What should we fucking... And I don't know why I agreed to fucking take try the some, first bite with a blindfold on it. Try some ketchup barbecue chips. They're pretty good. Ketchup and barbecue. Ketchup barbecue. I'm going to combine all kinds of things, boys. You're going to love it. Like, what? why are you on this stupid fucking mission? Because I want to come up with something great. Ketchup barbecue. Yep. Fucking That's delicious. That's actually a pretty good idea. Look, Julie. I don't, yeah, just... See, if there's a fucking chip company out there, they're going to steal this idea, come up with a new fucking combos of chips. Maybe they'll sponsor us because I came up with a catch barbecue. Bring it out, fucking Frito people. See, now you're dropping some more names. Like, I maybe I could have... No, difference. You, you did. We could have lost a lot of money right there, man. Yeah. 
know that we want them. And speaking of food, I was reading this uh, on your little fucking... That the... Uh, this Vinny's Pizza Place in New York came up with this pizza that comes in a box made out of pizza. Fucking good idea. What? Yeah. The box the pizza comes in is actually made out of pizza, so it's like a pizza on top, pizza in the bottom, box, and then a pizza right in between all that shit. But does that big thing come in a box? Or the pizza is the box? Pizza is the box, which I don't know how the fuck they would deliver it. Yeah, they can't think about it, Ricky. They'd have to put that in their, you know, warming bag. Yeah. And the cheese on both sides is going to stick all over the fucking thing. So they'd probably have to put it in a box to deliver it, which sort of deflates the purpose. But then you're just really ordering three fucking pizzas. They're tricking you into ordering three pizzas. It did, you know what? That's probably what it is, because last year they came up with a pizza that was topped with smaller pieces of another pizza, which is kind of fucked. And then you're paying for both pizzas. Yeah, all right, so I guess that one's a little fucked. It wow. is. It is. I would like fucked. to try it, though. It's a fucking lot of pizza. If it's the right crust to cheese to sauce ratio to it's pepperoni. a weird little sound coming out of here. What does it sound like, Bubs? It sounds like there's a cricket or something in there. What? I don't know. Bubs, <laughs> fuck off. That was a fucking good one, Bubs. That was great. <laughs> hey, Julian. Hey. Hey, we're going to light something up here. You got a match? No, I don't have a match. I do. My arse in your face. <laughs> get it? A match? Yeah, I get it, Bubs. I heard that back when I was fucking seven. What the fuck are you doing? It's fucking making a lot of noise, huh? It's fucked over my binoculars. <sighs> Fuck's sakes. Ricky, those are my binoculars. Are you sure? Yes, those are mine. I've been looking for those. I was wondering where I got them. Yeah, out of my shed. You fucking broke them, too. What are you looking at? Just locking. All right, man. I never noticed the cameras were there before. Sitting right there, I can see them here. You need there's the, a camera fellow there. Look. I think you know what, Buzz. You might need to fucking get bigger glasses. There's a camera fellow right there. I didn't even notice them. Well, we can all see him. We always Buzz. Have. Can you see him right now? Can I can you... see him. Yeah, because I know where he's at. No. We need some duct tape because what we'll do is. We'll just fucking duct tape these right on there. Oh, you think so, do you, Ricky? Then you'll be able to see think perfectly. So? <laughs> think so, do you? I'm going to walk. You think I'm walking around? That could, change, on? that could change your life. Fucking binocular is fucking duct tape to your face. Perfect vision. I would look kind of like a Navy SEAL. Well, you'd look like a dick. You would look kind of <laughs> fucked, I guess. You'd look like a serious dick with those. Two I wouldn't do that. I can see perfectly fine. I just, you know, that enhances it, obviously. That's what they're made to do. But I don't, you know, I don't even really need glasses. All right, I got a little contest here for you guys. I don't know what the prize is going to be. Maybe, all right, I know what it's going to be. How about a very, no, that's a weird one. I don't know why. I was... All right, let's see what I'm going to just wait now. Really I don't long... know what it was. I was going to say a really long hug. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? I don't know. Who does he want to get a very long hug to? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? He's all fucked up. Oh, shit. You know what? I'll be kind of happy when the fucking 20 days of 420 ends, because I've been so fucked lately. It's hard. When is the end of that, Ricky? Hopefully soon. Yeah, I think it's 20 days after 420, whatever that works out to. It's close. It's getting close. They should have one of those calendars that has, like, 20 joints in it, and you pop... A little door open. <laughs> You're fucking... I'm, I'm never doing the 20 days of 420 with you ever again, man. This is the last... Ricky, that's a fucking great idea. A Could what? we sell one of those? What is you know, this? like the thing you get at Christmas and you each day you open a little window and a chocolate pops out? An abstinence calendar or whatever ah, the fuck it's called. Do one for... Weed. Yeah, do or one joint. for four yeah, days of four twenty. Park thing and yank out a joint or See, a bud. See, now you're talking. We could sell something like that. See, we yeah. do that. We do that with one of the big weed companies. Sell that, you know, That's at 420. 
as a countdown to 420? Holy We fuck gotta get Ricky. on that today, boys. Then they'll fucking give us a sponsor, maybe. Uh, brought to you by Bubbles and Ricky. Right on, Bubs. Well, this, really we might be doing our own thing over here, and I'll deal with the contracts. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? You can deal with the contracts, but just let me look them over before you, you know, know, this is our own off thing. On. This is our own thing. That's right. And speaking of muscles, um, and we were. No, we weren't. We were a little while ago in your muscle suit. I wonder if that's made yet. Did you hear about the dad that left his uh, left his baby in an unlocked car with the engine running while he went to the gym? It's pretty fucked up. See, people like See, that. That's. And the first thing I thought, well, he wouldn't be Julian because he doesn't have a baby. That I he wouldn't no, do that. that he would be a dumbass. And but he you wouldn't be going to the gym because he doesn't need to. He's already perfect. Bob's fucking <laughs> off. Bob's. You're being a fucking dick, man. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, you are. All right. I can still hear that. Man, ram it up your maybe ass. You're, maybe something oh. weird's about to happen to you. What do you mean? You might fucking spawn train, train, <laughs> just like a combust or spawn a uh, tr- t- t- tail late. <laughs> What you know what I mean? Blow up. Catch on fire. Maybe. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome if that happened right now. <laughs> Who? <laughs> he just all of a sudden caught on fire, man. Who, we'd him? Have, we'd have it on videotape. We could make a lot of money with this tape. Well, then that we, would be a viral video. Then we would I prove it was real. Right. I can tell you, that would be a viral video. I'm serious. You need to shut the fuck up. Rick. What's that gonna do? Kicking it. It fucking tells it to shut up. And then it's like, okay, if I don't shut up, I'm gonna keep getting kicked, so maybe I better. And it actually worked. Well, of course it worked. Fucking appliances. Go fuck with you and act hard. But if you fuck with them back hard enough, they'll be like, all right, you're fucking gonna win, so I'm gonna back off. That's what they're saying. No, Ricky. Hang on now. You don't think that appliances think that when you kick them, do you? They have computers in them that do all the thinking for them, but yes. There's all kinds of sensors and shit we don't know about. But do you think it's consciously going, oh, that son of a lawyer, he's going to kick me, is he? Like that type of thinking? Well, the fridge, for example, was making a noise, and then I went over and kicked it. So I had right. to fucking take all that information and go, fuck, what do we do here? And while it was doing it, it just kept running. So by the time I figured it out, I gave it a second and third kick, and then that right away was like, okay, it sensed danger. And it said, fuck, shut her down, boys. So it's got sensors for that, huh? Yeah. No, but he thinks that the sensors are thinking things. Think, I know. Because he's fucked. Well, let's talk I'm about something even, else then, guys. I'm not even going to try to explain it. Let's how listen to all the exciting, wonderful things that you guys have to say. No, I think this is fascinating, actually. Well, thank you, Bubbles. That you think appliances are. Thank you. So you think, really, if that fridge had arms and legs, you think he could get up and walk around and... And think? If you gave it the option, maybe it would, yeah. Oh, my God. But that's why they probably don't put the fucking things on. Because we don't want a goddamn real Terminator on our hands. (laughs) Ricky... That is so fucked, man. I can't listen to any more of this shit. That's man. probably. Like, I can. I'm, no, I'm too that's fucked. That's probably. You know what? And now with cars, they're putting all this fucking. So you think crazy that fridge shit. is just one degree away from becoming a Terminator? It's arms and legs and a few other things away. Yes. I mean, fuck! Imagine that thing coming at you. Yeah, serving you cold drinks. Open his door and fucking whack you as you're going by. All kinds of fucking sneak attack shit. Flood you with cold air. <laughs> man, I don't even. I don't even know what to say, man. Well, let's talk about I, something I'm else, too, then, guys. I'm too fucked up to be. I can't even process what you're saying. You have to admit that these are fucking good drugs we're on these days. Well, guys. yeah, but I mean, you're, you're talking about a fridge turning into a Terminator, and I'm actually. Envisioning the whole fucking thing. Yeah, I am, dude. No, but that's how it starts. What's going to take right, over man. the world is cars. Because they're putting too many fucking smart things in them now. And the cars are eventually going to say, okay, I've got so much smart shit in me now that I don't have to listen to you anymore, fuck brains. I won't even let you in. 
and it can move around. Once they start teaming up, they can fucking run you over. They're not going to team up on you, man. Fucking big dump truck shows up your house and just takes the house down. See, that could, we should write a movie. That's what we should do. Curse. It's, it's a curse to take over the world. Yeah, kind of I like, like it. The Transformers, some, something like that kind of a deal. Well, Except yeah, they don't transform. Maybe, maybe it's already been They're done. Not, there's no way, man. All right. I'm I not, agree. The cars I'm are fucked these anymore. days. They need to start. We need to have cars like, you know, back in the, the 80s. Those are the cars you can work on. That's true. You know what I'm saying? On all these fucking sensors and shit. Well, maybe, That's Ricky, fuck. maybe there's something to what he's saying. Maybe they are thinking a little too much. Sensors. See, I'm telling you, boys, Bugs. these drugs make you smarter. You're starting they to don't, freak man. Me they just no, get they're people. paranoid. That's what they do. These drugs are making me smarter. I'm gonna keep my head on a swivel around those new fancy cars. I would. I'm just don't have to worry about that. Holy fuck. Yeah, okay. What yeah. else were you twiddling there, Ricky? What does twiddle mean? Like writing. Oh. So we're talk about the man that drove 870 miles to get KFC from Yellowknife. 870 miles? Yep. From where to where? Somewhere in Yellowknife to get KFC for his fucking wedding anniversary, which is kind of romantic. I've done it before. Actually, I drove further than that. When? I don't know. It was 10 years ago. Lucy wanted fucking chicken Christmas Day. I had to go to four provinces before I fucking finally found one that was open. For some reason, most of the KFC's closed on Christmas Day. Like, I would say a lot of people would probably eat that on Christmas Day. Is that why you disappeared on Christmas Day that year? Yep. You didn't get chicken. back until after Boxing Day, Ricky. No, it was a... Yeah, I was gone two and a half days. But I fucking got the chicken, didn't I? I didn't know you were on a chicken run. 48 barrels. A lot of chicken. I remember wondering why the fuck did he buy so much? I had to get an extra deep freeze. I had chicken for fucking almost nine months. And it's in buckets, not barrels, Ricky. They're buckets of chicken. What did I say? Barrels. Of barrels no, you of can get you can get barrels now. A KFC. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You can't buy a barrel. I'm pretty KFC. sure you can. Oh, man. The way, buckets man. about that high. And it's got like seven hundred. No that would be fucking awesome. Seven hundred piece feast or something. It's called. Oh my no fuck! Way. See, there's another great idea. They should be sponsoring a us. A barrel of chicken. barrel of chicken. $279. Can you imagine what the chicken would look like at the bottom of the barrel? It'd be fucking... Crispy. you get extra crispy. It'd be floating in grease, nope. man. It'd You'd be layer disgusting. It. You'd layer it with uh, re what? recycled pizza boxes. Hmm. That might work a little bit, but I don't know, man. A barrel of chicken. A is barrel of much. chicken would be awesome. How many pieces would it be? Oh, it would have to be. Oh, how many's in a bucket? A bucket. There's what, like, 20, 24? twenty? Twenty-four. You can get a twenty-piece bucket. Yep. Standard That's bucket. Good. You can drive twenty indoor. It have so to be. It would have to be. Oh, it's well over a thousand pieces. Oh it's man. Well over a thousand pieces. Pieces. That would be fucking awesome. But you have to wait. You couldn't go through drive-through and pick up something like that, though. I wouldn't. Uh, no, if you were no Fred, way, Fred Flintstone, you could. But when they set it on the car, you tip over. <laughs> <laughs> remember? Uh, yeah, remember Fred Flintstone? He was fucked, wasn't he? <laughs> he was fucked. <laughs> Not as fucked as Bernie. Bernie was fucked. Little short Bernie with his big nose. Bernie kind of reminds me of Randy. Think about it. Just a little, <laughs> you know. Yeah, if you pulled, if you pulled Bernie's little, you know, jungle man top down to there. He had a big, you know, boiler like Randy. If you were forced to gunpoint and you had to tee off on Wilmer or Betty, which one would it be? Say that again, Ricky, into my good ear. <laughs> forced to gunpoint? Yeah, you had, you had no choice. Like, you've got to fucking tee off on one of them or we're shooting you. Who would you choose? Well, you I mean, you can include... Between who? I was going to say between Betty and uh, Wilma, but you can include Fred and Bernie if you want, just to be fair to I was going to say, the gunpoint, you wouldn't need the gunpoint if it was Wilma or Bell, Betty. But fucking Fred and Bernie? I don't even want to think about that, Rick. Okay, I think See? maybe the first thing we should address is that they're fucking, they're cartoons here, boys. 
A cartoon, so okay. couldn't even be well, done. if you were a cartoon and you were forced to gunpoint and you had to fucking tee off one of them, who the fuck would it be? I can't even process what he's talking about. If, if we were cartoons. I know what he's <laughs> saying. You're watching it. And the car- cartoon characters had guns pointed at us and they're like, okay, who are you going to tee off on? <laughs> Who would your character walk over to? All right, to? it's a weird question. I'm sorry. It's just, just a weird thing, Do you guys man. have anything to talk about? Apparently we do. I don't really have much left. All right, yeah, I was going to have a little contest. Okay, if you have a pencil. I right, do. You start drawing a line? Yeah. How far will that line go until it runs out? The winner gets a bottle of this. What? You have a pencil drawing a line, okay? Yeah. How far until it runs out, the pencil? Well, it depends winner, on the fucking kind this. of pencil. Oh, for fuck's sake, Bob. It's just a pencil. Well, it's just a normal fucking pencil. Yeah, but it depends if it's a... How know. hard are you pressing? How hard are you pressing, well, it's, whether it's a, it's a 5H or a 2B? Yeah. Okay. Is it from the dollar you store? Mean, is it it's from a carpenter's pencil? <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. Nobody Two wins. miles. No, not even close. Half no, a mile. I, I just want to know, because you're obviously trying to I don't give a fuck anymore. anymore. I What's do the, not give a flying what fuck anymore. Stupid answer. I'm not telling you. Oh my fuck! What a waste. You want to fuck was. around? People are going to be Husband. pissed off that you didn't tell them the answer. Nope. Okay, I've got two things left. Either we talk about female spiders and how they force the male spiders to give them oral sex, or we talk about the eleven-year-old in Alabama that shot the intruder and said he cried like a baby. You guys pick. Who cried? The intruder. The intruder. Oh, I saw that on the news. Somebody broke in and a kid blasted him with a, like a nine millimeter or something. Are you kidding me? And Put then when they interviewed on. the little fella after, yeah. he said he shot the robber and he cried like a baby. Where'd he shoot him? I think it was just in the leg. I think he fired a ten fucking shots. He must not have been a very good shot. But... <laughs> he scared the shit out well, of buddy. Ricky, he's how he old? Hit, hit him once. Eleven. But see, Why would he be a good shot? Well, He's I think 11. it's important to fucking get your kids comfortable with guns when they're young. Ricky. Just for reasons like that, probably. Ricky. Well, fucking buddy would have got away with it. The little 11 year old didn't have a little hand cannon and fucking start blasting him. I bet the guy won't go back there anytime soon, that's for sure. If he does, he'll probably have a gun too, which maybe that's a problem. There's not be a shootout with an 11 year old, man. No, this, an 11 year old should not have a fucking gun. Okay, well, let's make it this rule. If 11 year old's gonna have a gun, make sure he's a fucking good shot. If not, he shouldn't have a gun. All right, that's better. Because if he gets in a gunfight and he's not a good shot, he's probably gonna get fucking hurt. So he's gotta have a few hours at the, at the shooting range. At, or something, least. at least. Yeah, or in the backyard. All right, yeah. All right, let's go. Ricky. Oh my God. We're fucking coming up with ideas. We're making new laws and rules. and This is great, boys. Is that all you got? That's it, and I'm not telling you the answer. Oh, fuck, are you serious? People are going to be fucking pissed about that, man. Well, you guys want to be dicks? I'm done. Well, I'm not talking about spiders. Yeah, you know what it is? It was a trick. He doesn't know the answer because it can't be figured out. I don't know what the answer is. The answer can't be figured out. I know what the answer is. The answer probably was it depends. Depends on all the things we said, so we got the right answer. 31 miles, something like that. Okay, those guys can suck it. Julian, he's not going to tell us. I think we got the answer. We'll look it up on the Googler, Ricky. Look it up on the Googler. The Googler. I like the Googler. You ask it stuff and it tells you. Tells you things, yeah. It's fucking smart. Okay, Ricky, let's go, um, let's go do something. Here. You gotta mention that. What the fuck? What? I can't read that. So you leave and then you just come back? Well, this is important. I can't read that. Uh, Trey... Taylor Park Boys? Taylor Park Boys. Uh, Back... Back Street Boys. No, back... Backstreetmerch.com. Get some shit like that, all right? Just remember that and buy some shit. Backstreet... This is another greasy deal you made. With Backstreetmerch.com. Man, this is fucked. We gotta figure this out. I bet your knees getting all kinds of free stuff. I'm fucking pissed off. 
All right. I'm doing a fade out, Ricky. Sorry about all that shit earlier. Ricky, I'm doing a fade out. Love you, girl. You can come back on now.